Hi, so one of the questions I get asked the most is how do you take the optics in and out of the optic swap system? And when you're starting out, it definitely takes a minute to learn how to do this. I think a little bit of practice um, and sometimes having someone to show you makes a difference, but if you don't have someone, hopefully the video will help. So I have some different optics in front of me along with the Composer Pro and a Scout. So the basic way of taking out an optic, you need to turn your focus ring so the optic is sticking all the way out the top. So you don't want it in, you want it all the way out. Then you're gonna take your aperture and you're gonna turn it all the way to F22. Um, and it'll just make it a little easy when you go to turn it. So holding the uh, Composer Pro in one hand with the focus ring tight, you're gonna take your other hand, you're gonna push down gently on the optic, twist it counterclockwise and pull it out. And that would be the cat helping out with me. To put it back in, you need to you need to find your um, dot on the optic and line it up with the dot on the Composer Pro. You're gonna put it in like this, and then twist it. Same way. So gentle push down, but you're gonna twist it clockwise this time to put it in, anti-clockwise to take it out. So sticking out that's how it comes out. So I then have the fisheye optic here which works slightly differently. So it can go in any of our systems the same way all the optics can. You're going to rest it in the top and turn it till it clicks. With this one you hear a very definite click. So let me take it out. To take out the fisheye optic, like with the discontinued optics, the double glass, the single glass, the pinhole, you need the optic swap tool. So we have the old optic swap tools here. They're the ones that the double glass and things came in. And you're gonna take the bottom of that and you'll see on the top here, we have three little holes. So you're gonna line up this with those holes. Make sure you hold on very tight to your focus because when you go to take out the optic, that focus ring has a tendency to move and the optic will disappear inside. So holding your focus, match up the three lines, push down and twist. Out comes your optic. Okay, so since I have this one in my hand, we'll do the double glass. So the double glass is similar to the um, fisheye. So we're gonna put it in. So you don't actually need the optic swap tool to put it in, it's just a little bit easier. But we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna line it up here twist and push. I also have one of our newer optic swap tools. It's like a lens cap for the new optics, but when it comes off, you'll see it also has a three little holes here, similar to um, the old optic swap tool. So that just turns over, goes in here, turn it, done. Okay, and lastly, I have the scout with the twist. So this is very similar to the um, Composer Pro. Obviously it just doesn't bend. So to remove it, you're gonna turn your focus ring so it's sticking all the way out. Turn your aperture so it's on F22, then gently push down, twist. The same way we did with the um, edge in the Composer Pro. Then to put it back in, we're gonna find our dots. Okay, so here's the, the dot we're gonna match it up with the dot on my scout, put it in, twist, in it goes. Um, so that's how all the optics are removed in and out of the Composer Pro, the scout, etc. It just takes a little bit of practice. You may need to use a little more effort than you think and think of it like a prescription bottle. So gently push down and twist the same way you would a childproof prescription bottle.